Well, here he is, Sydney Sinovenator. Uh, hello, I'm Sydney Sinovenator. Oh, hey, cuz, long time no see. Indeed, wonderful to see you, Sydney. Hi, Sydney. I'm Tiny Tyrannodon. This is my sister, Shiny, and my brothers, Buddy and Don. And this is my mom and dad. Hello, 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 hello. Nice to meet you all. Welcome to my starry, starry night. You look at the stars a lot, right? Oh, yes, I do. I look at the stars more than I look at anything else. The stars and I are friends to the end. Sydney, I've been looking at the stars for a dawn stellation. A uh, dawn stellation? Yep, a star picture that looks like me. Hmm, uh, I haven't seen a dawn stellation, Don. Uh, but my stars, I would really like to. Sydney and Mr. Conductor, since you're troodontid cousins, I was wondering if we could compare your features. Excellent suggestion, buddy. Let's compare. Hmm, Sydney is shorter. Now, may we see your claws, please? A big claw on Sydney's toe. And a big claw on Mr. Conductor. So you're both nocturnal. Sydney, you have really big eyes. Yes! The better to see at night. It's another troodontid family trait, like our eye shine. The moonlight reflects off our eyes. Time for a tour! A sky tour! You came on a great night, just a sliver of a moon. We should hurry. We don't want to keep the stars waiting too long, hmm? Huh? Sydney, we saw that really bright star earlier, at home, in the same spot. Oh, yes. That's the star of the nightly starry show. Bravo! That star can be found in the same spot, pointing toward the north. I call it... Bright star! How about the sauropod constellation? Shouldn't it be right where I saw it? Good question, Tiny. Often it is hard to find certain stars and constellations. Uh, do you know why? Because there's so many stars up there? I like that answer. Me too! And you're right, buddy. Uh, from here on Earth, we can only see thousands of stars, but there are so many more stars up there in the sky that we can't see. Millions, right? Actually, billions. My cuz is right. Billions and billions of stars. Impossible to count them all. One, two, three, ten, hundred, two million. Yep, looks like billions to me. <laughs> <laughs> but Sydney, the sauropod constellation isn't in the same spot where it was before. Yeah, I wonder if my hypothesis was right. Aren't the stars always in the same spot? I think I can help with this where are the constellations question. Who wants to go to my super special stargazing site? If you do, say, I do, Sydney. I do, Sydney. All right, let's go to Starry Hill. Behold, the best stargazing site ever. Wow. I feel like I can reach up and grab stars right from the sky. Me too. Huh? Hmm. I can't find the fish constellation. It probably moved like the sauropod did. Where are you, sauropod? There you are. You did move. So I guess stars do move around, right? It may look like the stars have moved, but no, it's not the stars that are moving. It's the Earth that's moving! The stars! Yes, stars, I'm talking about you again. They just look like they're moving! The Earth is moving? Cousin, will you help me out and pretend to be the sun? Just stand still. Well, uh, okay. Good. You're Mr. Sun, and I am the Earth. I spin around. <laughs> and at the same time, I, the Earth, slowly travel around the sun. So the creatures on Earth get to see different parts of the sky. Oh, so it only looks like the stars and constellations move. Right. Our sauropod constellation looks like it moved to a different place in the sky from earlier tonight. But the Earth was the thing that moved. Huh. Learn another new thing today. But what are those two glowing things? They're moving faster. Uh. Oh, Sonny boy! Mother! Oh, 
Oh, hello, Sydney. Lovely stars tonight. Hello, Auntie. Yes, whew, stupendous stars. Oh, you always love the constellations. Well, Pteranodon family, time to head back to the night train. All aboard! Mother, as I said earlier, that is my job. All right. <laughs> I keep reading. Go oh, all aboard. Sydney, thank you for a starrific evening. Thank you, Sydney. We learned so much. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for visiting, Pteranodon family. Keep stargazing and follow the stars.